right, guys. Speaking of saving money, one of the things that you, you can do to save money is throw people out of your house. I see all the time where there's one person that's going to work every day, you know, they're, they're barely getting by, they got a decent job, or just some kind of job, it's not always a decent one, and they, you know, they got a little second-hand car that they purchased, that they saved up and managed to buy, but they have all these hanger-ons, you know, they have all these people hanging on to them, draining their life out of them, literally, they, um, draining their finances, draining their time, you know, they're just taking up too much of their time and too much of their thought goes into all these miscellaneous people that they have at their house. Your house is a sanctuary and you should be very particular about who you have over, especially on a regular basis. I mean, I see it all the time where um, a young lady, she goes to work every day, and she, you know, she has a nice little apartment, and sometimes it's even a one bedroom or a studio. But um, you know, it's a great accommodation for her and her children if she has children, and but she has all these other people in addition to her children at her house all the time, or at her uh, apartment, or at her studio. And, you know, and some women, they have nice-sized houses, but they have their uncle living in the attic and their brother living in the basement. Your girlfriend is over all the time, and her friends are bringing their friends over to her place. And, you know, and your place becomes a, a hangout for, you know, so many different people. And... You wonder why you can't save anything. You can't save anything because, you, for one, you're feeding all these people. And whether you're conscious of it or not, I mean, these people are eating it. You know, if people anywhere where people are hanging out for a couple of hours, they're going to get hungry. They're going to get thirsty. And they, if it's there, they're going to eat it. So you're feeding these people, and you, you know, you're always running out of things because you may not have made a conscious um, you may not be consciously aware that you're feeding these people. So you're just constantly replacing food because you're constantly running out. And you can't sit anything down because, you know, if you sit something down, somebody is going to borrow it or just take it all together. You know, and, and I won't say that they're stealing it, but, um, you know, so it's not stealing if they're your friend. You know, they're your friends, so they just borrowed it, and then, so they borrowed it, but, you know, you never get it back. So you're constantly replacing everything. And just like, um, as you may know, I'm a big fan of the Mason Jar um, savings account. So, um, you you know, you can't have money laying around if you get people in and out of your house all the time. Or if you have people living with you that's... Um, they're, they're just living off of you, that they're not actually, they live with you, but basically they're living off of you, and that they're not contributing, and they're there all the time. So a part of your house being a sanctuary is having a place where you can go at the end of the day, even if you don't have a job, or even if you work at home like I do, at the end of the day, you want to be able to be at your house or be at your apartment or be at your um, studio apartment or even if, if you're a van dweller, be inside your van. You know, wherever you live, a cardboard box, wherever you live, that's your sanctuary. And you don't want all kinds of, you know, a, a large number of people just around adults. Adults don't need to be around other people's kids all the time. You know, if you have adult friends, and you have children, your adult friends need to, you need to be with your adult friends elsewhere, away from your children. Your, once you become a parent, your house can't be the um, the frat house anymore. Your house can, can't be the party house. And once you become a responsible adult, even whether you have children or not, you need to um, be able to 
not have your things just come up missing. You need if you need to be able to manage your money and manage your assets. And you don't need people breaking furniture all the time. Uh, you don't need people um, spilling stuff in on the carpet all the time. And so, you know, if you get people that stand with you and they're not contributing, they're not a relative of yours, they're not part of your program. And you know, I've had friends in the past where they didn't live with me, and they my house wasn't a hangout house, but I've had people where... They can always tell you what you can do, what you should do with your stuff, you know, how you, how generous you need to be with, with your home, with your uh, apartment or your house. Um, they, you need to loan, their, loan them your car. You know, if they had a car, they would loan you their car. And, you know, it's funny, these people that talk like this and always telling you how generous you need to be with your time and with your money and with your house and with your vehicle – they don't have vehicles, you know, they don't have houses, and they don't have a job half the time. And then when they do acquire some things, when I have a girlfriend in particular that um, she always wanted me to take her somewhere. Um, she asked to borrow my car a couple of times, but I, I, I wouldn't let her borrow my car. Uh, but I gladly chauffeured her just about everywhere she wanted to go. And... The reason why I didn't loan my car because, you know, if a person, they, they borrow your car and they have an accident, insurance companies are very funny about covering that accident if you're not the one that's driving the car. And, you know, most people that need you to need access to your vehicle is because they don't, they can't afford to buy their own vehicle. So... You know, as a friend, I didn't mind taking her where she needed to go, but I noticed as soon as she got her own vehicle, um, I just stopped hearing from her altogether. So not only um, was she available to return the favor, she wasn't even, you know, interested anymore. So you have to um, be careful about people just draining the life out of you and just using you for it. Because a lot of times, we, you know, we hear about people that's rich, and, you know, rich people, they talk about, yeah, you know, people, they just want me for my money and stuff like that. But I'm living witness. You don't have to be rich for people to take advantage of you. People will take advantage of you for whatever living, you know, whatever little you have. They can take, you know, if they can, if you let them. So, you know, it, that could be where people just stand with you and, um, not really contributing, not they're not a part of your program, you know, and you can be, you know, you can be related to a person and you can want to help people, but at the same time, you can't let people just drain the life out of you. And uh, one thing about saving money and, and being able to save money in the house is that you need to be able, your house needs to be a place where you can sit something down. You can sit things down and don't have to worry about them disappearing. And it doesn't have to be money. It could, it could be a pair of earrings. If you pay $2 for a pair of earrings, and when you get ready to wear them, they're not there, that's $2 wasted because they disappeared. And, and another big thing, a big expense of having people in your house is the food going in and out. You know, you're buying food, but you can't keep food, and there's not food there when you need it, or you're constantly uh, replacing food because you're feeding all these people. So the only people that need to be in your house is the people that you gave birth to and the people that you are legally married to or elders that gave birth to you and you guys are working together or you're taking care of your um your parents or what not, something like that. Other than that, all your friends and stuff need to have their own place. And once you have children, your house is no longer the party house, you know. And you don't need a lot of grown adults around your family, around your children in particular. You know, so that's another reason that's caused a lot of problems. And, and tell you the truth, children don't like to be around a bunch of grown people. I mean, um, ch ch your children, your house, and your kids, that should be reserved for you and your children. It shouldn't be other adults, you know, 
around and um, intruding on their space. And even little girls, even though they're not as territorial as boys, they get tired of it too. The children in general, they just get tired of, um, you know, somebody else watching the television. You know, why are we watching what he wants to watch? He doesn't even live here. You know, and they, they pick up on things like that. Um, or, you know, she's not paying bills. You know, she, she's not part of the family. Why is she here every Friday and Saturday and Sunday? You know, so your house should be a sanctuary where you can put things down and not have to worry about them disappearing. You can um, purchase food and not worry about it disappearing. And you can come home at the end of the day and relax. You know, you don't have to have somebody in your face, you know, every day. You need to be able to hear your own thoughts. And, I, in fact, the same girlfriend that I had mentioned earlier, she used to call me at 7.30 every morning to find out, you know, to ask me what I was doing. That was because she wanted me to take her somewhere during the day. And um, I had to tell her, um, after she did that for about a month or so, I told her, I said, you know, I haven't even decided what I'm going to do yet. You know, you have to program your own mind, you know, and put together what it is you're going to do during the day. You got to kind of figure out, okay, what I need to make a priority for, what I need to do first, you know, and it becomes part of your program so you know you can do it without really thinking about it because you have embedded this thought in your mind but you have to do it and um, you got people you know in your face and in your house and you know talking to you all the time you can't really hear your own thoughts and, and make arrangements in your own mind of what you what it is you need to do that particular day so um kick the people out of your house you know friends and stuff they people need you need to surround yourself with people that's doing what you're doing or if they're not doing what you're doing they don't have to be doing identical identically with to what you're doing but they need to either be doing what you're doing or doing something different that's a part of the same program just having random people at your house, that is not good, that's not healthy, it's just a drain on your family. And people and your children get tired of it, and, and actually and you get tired of it too. Um, peace and tranquility is highly underrated. You know, and solidarity is highly underrated. It's better to just be by yourself and relax and have your spa days and come home and be able to listen to your own thoughts or listen to your music or watch the TV programs that you want to listen to, figure out what your children did um, at school today and get them ready for another day, um, get them ready for the next day of school or plan something special for the weekend. You know, instead of, um, don't spend too much time with socializing, you know, all the time. You need a little socializing, you need a little social time, but not at your house and you don't need people living with you that just a drain on your family and just um you know in your face and in your ear all the time and you know and listen to um their issues and everything issues that have nothing to do with you and they have no contribution to your issues as well so you know keep your party friends and your social life separate from your your kids and your house and your your family you know when you come home at the end of the day that should be a place where your kids can relax without stepping around and stepping over other people and your finances will thank you because um whoever is staying in the attic they're not eating up all the food and who's ever staying in the basement not eating up all the food and the, the the bunch that comes over on the weekend, they're not eating up all the food. And it just makes it for a, a much quiet, pleasant place to live and a more productive life because you're able to accumulate things. You able? I have, let me see, I have $10 right here that I just, 
you know, I, I, I can leave it right there. It's on the floor. I can leave it right there because I don't have to worry about nobody picking it up or mistaking it for being theirs because it's nobody here but me and my son. And that's what you want. You when you at home when you're at home you want to be able to relax. You want to be able to take a, a bubble bath without worrying about who's going to come in or who needs to come into the bathroom. You know, it's just so many things. So many people I see they don't really get a chance to grow up because you know they always have their friends. You know, they still. They just, they still operate as if they're like you know little kids or teenagers and because they don't really have a chance to grow up because they don't they never really had that opportunity to just be alone and think clearly and, you know with some peace and quiet and plan out you know what they need to do what's the next maneuver they need to do. And um, and just be an adult, and and you know, and rest, rest. You need to get a good night's sleep every night. Whether you're 22 or 52, you need to get a good night's sleep every night, and you need to um, you know, be able to make plans and have a budget, establish your budget, and keep food in the house, and um, not have a whole bunch of adults around your children. Like I say, I mean, it's a sad truth, but you have to, once you have children, you, you have to make different provisions. It, you know, everything you just can't be, um, you know, just whatever, whatever, you know. It's like, you no, know, you get to have a solid plan in place when, once you have kids. And they love the peace and quiet, too. You know, they might, it might be kind of fun, you know, they might like certain people, and it might be kind of fun to have certain people around sometimes. But for the most part, they need their space. And you need your space, too. 